Assalamu alaikum, welcome to another episode of Halal Recipe. I'm your chef Afra Kardin and today we have a chef guest. Please tell us about yourself, chef. Hey guys, my name is Meshak and I'm a chef by profession. Okay, chef, please tell us what you're making today. Um, today we're going to do coconut and orange chicken. Okay. And it will go with a sweet potato mash. Okay. It's basic, it's simple, it looks complicated but it's a quick dish. Okay. Basically cooks itself. So people at home can cook this chicken? It's very easy. It's we easy. make it look easy. Okay. And it is easy. So what are your ingredients in the cups? Um, Please tell us. We have orange juice. Okay. And one the why there too. They will use one to marinate the chicken. Okay. We have coconut oil. We have uh, black pepper, salt, some thyme and some rosemary. And we have double cream for the mashed potatoes. Okay. Yeah. So, you guys, we have chicken here, and now he's going to show us the procedure of how we are going to marinate our chicken first. That's right. Yes. So, let him show us. Okay. So, we start with the chicken. What you can do with this chicken, you can marinate it over later. Put your pinch of salt. Black pepper, rosemary, and your thyme. And this rosemary is dry rosemary. This is dry rosemary. Okay, you fresh. can use you can use fresh rosemary also. Okay. Which is more flavorful than it is fresh. Okay. But with the fresh rosemary, you tend not to use a lot because mm -hmm. it's more pungent than the dried one. Okay. We add our coconut oil. Why are we using coconut oil, not vegetable oil? Coconut oil is uh, it's healthier. But as compared to vegetable oil, okay, it's coconut oil is less processed. Okay. And compared to vegetable oil, with coconut oil, you taste the coconut. So it's basically for flavor. For the flavor, yes. Okay. You can use vegetable oil, but you won't taste the vegetables in it, so. Okay, so you guys, yeah. you've heard it. It's uh, for flavor. So we, they can use vegetable oil. Yes, you can. But okay. for more flavor, go for coconut oil. Then we'll add our orange juice. You let it soak completely. Get your hands in there. Don't be shy. <laughs> you rub in all the salt and black pepper. Once you've soaked your chicken, it's good to marinate it overnight mm -hmm. but um, you can do it for like 15 minutes but the longer the better mm. the orange juice will soak into the chicken and make it juicier okay so that you won't have to overcook it okay so when it's done to have that orange flavor the rosemary coconut you definitely feel the coconut okay so yeah. with the method of this chicken mm -hmm. we've marinated it is there a particular way it has to be cooked or you can even roast it? Or? Yeah, you can roast it, but preferably you seal it on your pan first. Okay. Yeah. Sealing means you make all the chicken brown evenly, then you can put it in the oven. Okay, so for yeah. today we are cooking it today in the pan? Today we stew it in the pan. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then we have our sweet potatoes here. Yeah? This basic sweet potatoes. We we'll boil them. No. How long are we going to? Until boil? they're soft. Okay. Let's get them going. So, guys, this is normal sweet potato. It's nothing yes. new to you. Nothing special. Just yeah. normal sweet potatoes. There. Which one? The first one. This one. Yeah. Put it on. Okay. Thank you. Um, as this goes, I don't usually put any salt in my sweet potato. I just boil it that way. Mm -hmm. Then we'll start with our chicken. This one. Okay, I'm not in shambo, okay, I'm just asking. <laughs> okay, we'll use coconut oil again. Okay, for flavor. Flavor. More flavor. More taste of this. 
But they can also use vegetable oil. Yeah, you can oil. use vegetable oil, olive oil, oil. Okay. sesame oil, whichever oil you want. It's all about the flavor. So you have to get the pan hot. The oil has to be really hot so that when you place your chicken, it doesn't boil. It has to seem at a high temperature. And they have to be careful, right? Yes. If you are chong. You do not throw the chicken in. Yeah. Yeah. You place it in a pan slowly. And I'll show you. It's not complicated. Let's get this hot. So guys, I hope you've understood the ingredients. If you have any queries or any questions, you can pop the social medias pop onto the screen, which is Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, all of them. So if you have any questions, you can just type them in there and we'll answer you definitely. So now, let's just wait for the pan to be hot. So how long have you been doing this? This is my... It's like, it's not so long. I've just started, it's my first season. So, the viewers have been watching me. I'm not so into it as yet. We've just started and... If I have any mistakes or anything, our viewers tell me. So yeah, and this it's not is my been first good. time. So, so guys, this is first it. time. He's doing well, isn't yeah. he? That's why I'm also green. No, oh. don't worry. Everyone has their first time. So as you can see, as the oil gets hotter, yeah, it moves on the pan quicker. That's how you can tell it's hot. Okay. Yeah. So it has to smoke just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Okay. So it's already smoking yeah, it's a bit. Smoking. So we can go in with our chicken. And another thing, if you'd like to take out the skin, it's okay. For me, I prefer leaving it on. That's the sound you should get when the oil is hot and the chicken starts to the pan. Do you get any, any other sound apart from the chicken? The oil is cold. And what happens when the oil is cold? The chicken will boil. It will boil. Okay, so this method is chilling. This is chilling. Mm -hmm. Chilling means you lock in all the chicken in the piece of meat that you're cooking. So that when it's done, it's not dry. Okay. Yeah. It's juicy. And is it a must to use chicken thighs on it? I prefer using chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast, you can use lamb Okay. Yes, it's amazing. All about the chicken. So they can use any yes. part of the chicken they yes. like. Yes. 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 Okay. So how long does it take to cook on one side? Um, you can give it three to four minutes to get the trout and add it over. Okay. Yeah. And I get those over trout or hand. Otherwise, it will boil like that. When you're boiling your feet for two days, don't forget to cut it. So they boil it and use cold water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't use hot water. Use cold water, it will cook even. Yeah. So it's yeah. a must they have to cover the Yeah, the is, yeah, you cover it. It's important to cover. Let's have a look. Room time let me have a look and see how it is. So what colour are you looking for? I'm looking for the gold and brown. Yeah, okay. But when, as you're cooking, when you add the orange juice, mm -hmm. when it's cooked, it will reduce. Okay. Before we didn't have a syrup. Yeah. Then with that syrup, it will be also a bit amber in color. Then you spoon it over the chicken mm -hmm. and it will give it a blue. Okay. Yeah. 
So in the news we don't get that golden golden brown color. Mm -hmm. We get it once we add the oil. Okay, the green is off. So your color has to be golden brown as you said. So let's just check it. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> Getting there. Getting. Getting. Be careful when you're standing with the chicken. Huh? I've been doing this long enough, so you used to see me reaching <laughs> into the pan. Be careful because the oil is hot, the chicken is hot, so don't burn yourself. Okay? okay. You can go with it. Okay. You can go with it. So it doesn't have to really be so golden brown. Okay. Then you turn all your chicken. Mm -hmm. Now you can see Wow. Once you do that, you turn down the heat and let it sink. Okay, so guys, we've just added in the orange juice and we've reduced the heat. So we're going to take a short break and once we're back, we're going to check on the chicken and the sweet potatoes and we're going to finally just plate the food, the chicken. So, see you shortly. Welcome back and now our chicken is ready, our sweet potato is ready. So, let chef take us from there. Finishing off our butter into the sauce, butter, mashed potato. So, the reason as to why we're putting butter in this sauce mm -hmm. is to make the sauce have a velvet consistency, make it more creamy. Okay. See, as it melts, huh? you spoon it onto the chicken. chicken. Again, it's all about the flavor. Okay. So you have butter, you have coconut, orange. You have a tiny taste of orange. So there you go. Easy peasy. <laughs> it basically cooked itself. Hmm? Okay. So this don't be shy. Try it at home. It's really good. It's really, what did you think of? Yeah, sauce? yeah. It actually looks really nice. Yeah. So and the sweet so, potatoes. So the sweet potato is put in. The, Butter. Yeah. Double cream. For more creaminess. What we we'll do is we we'll just stir this because it's soft. Eh? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to mash completely. But you can mash it. Yeah, you can mash it completely. Fine. Here we go. So this one, as you can see, it's a syrup consistency for the sauce. This is what you're looking for. Okay. The glaze, you can see the glaze? Yeah. If that's what you're looking for. If, it, if it's anything mm -hmm. other than this, I think you'd be cooking something <laughs> else. So we turn off the heat on this. Mm -hmm. Let's watch this. So in that we've added uh, butter, butter and double cream. And double cream. Okay. Again, you don't have to mash it completely. Just slightly. Just slightly. Yeah. Okay. So you can get a bite of this potato. potato. Okay. Mm 
nothing fancy. Just drop it in there. For those of us here who didn't have breakfast, so <laughs> I'll <be> lunch. <laughs> So you guys, you put your sweet potato here. It looks like this. Nothing fancy. Just go in there. It's a home cooked meal. Mm -hmm. Wow, just look at that. That's it. That's it. It looks so Five nice. Five star meal at home. <laughs> So I'm going to try and I'm going to tell you guys how this dish tastes. So I'm not going to taste the chicken because I'll mess myself. <laughs> it's actually really nice. Okay, so chef, please just brief them on the ingredients you used and the process just a slight brief to remind them use chicken thighs we marinated the thighs in orange juice mm -hmm. coconut oil salt and pepper some rosemary and lime mm -hmm. then again you need hot oil you seed your chicken on all sides when they're brown on all sides add in your orange juice Reduce the heat and let it simmer until the orange juice reduces into a syrupy consistency. Mm -hmm. Then add in your butter. Okay. It's that simple. I know I've made it look easy because it is. It's basically cooking itself. And once you get that syrupy consistency, mm -hmm. you just drizzle it on the chicken and it will get the glaze. Okay. And that's that. And for the... The sweet potatoes. Just boil your sweet potatoes potatoes up until they're soft, ready to mash. Mm -hmm. After that, just add in your butter and the and double, double cream. cream. And that's it. Okay. And you mash it. So I hope you guys have understood the ingredients, you've understood the procedure. So if you have any query or anything, you can just ask questions on our social media. And also please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment on our social medias and if anything please just comment and we shall get back to you i hope you've enjoyed and thank you so much for being with us on our show and yeah i'm your chef afra and this is chef meshak i hope you've enjoyed see you till next time bye bye thanks for watching <laughs>